بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس دس از ان آرگینک مٹیریل کیمسٹری کیمپ تھری ون ون فائیو اینڈ ان دس لیکچر آئی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ انٹروڈکشن ٹو نینو مٹیریلس دا کی کنسیپٹس آف دس لیکچر انکلوڈس نینو مٹیریلس انٹروڈکشن دیئر کلاسیفیکیشن بیسڈ آن ڈائمینشنلٹی مارفولوجی اینڈ کمپوزیشن ان دس لیکچر I will talk about introduction to nanoscale materials which are also called nanoparticles or nanomaterials. Moreover, I will talk about their classification which will help us to understand the basic concept of nanomaterials. The question is nanomaterials, what is the concept of nanomaterials? According to Nobel laureate Richard Feynman, who gave a visionary lecture and in his visionary lecture he says that there is plenty of room at the bottom. What does it mean gave the concept of nanotechnology at that time when the researchers were not working on nanomaterials? According to Richard Feynman, he says that what I want to talk about is the problem of manipulating and controlling things on a small scale. What does it mean that manipulating and controlling things on small scale? According to Richard Feynman, the materials can be grown into smaller and smaller size until we reach atomic or molecular level. So this is the plenty of room at the bottom. It means if we move from microscopic size to small size, we can move to atomic or molecular level, which is far smaller than nanomaterials. The term nano is derived from Greek word nanos, which is used for dwarf. Dwarf means uh, in daily life, we can use this word for those people who are shorter in their length. This etymology and its placement on the metric scale, one nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus nine meter, shows that tiny dimensions not visible to naked eye beyond the normal limits of our observation. It is well known that the diameter of hair is 100 micrometer. If we compare the diameter of hair, which is 100 micrometer, to the Buckminster Fullerene which is one nanometer in size and it has been shown on next slide in figure 1.1. Nanomaterials are defined as materials having at least one dimension in the 10 to 100 nanometer range in which nanoparticles are the major investigated subjects. The term nanoparticles was first appeared in 1980s. This is figure 1.1. This figure explains some materials and some particles. This is the length scale for classifying nanomaterials. On the right hand side of the figure, we can see diameter of a hair. It is 100 micrometer. From here to red blood cells, we can see there is a decrease in size. The red blood cells are in the range of 10 micrometer size. Chia coli is 1 micrometer in size. And we can see HI viruses, they are only 100 nanometer. A molecule of hemoglobin is 10 nanometer in size. And Buckminster fullerene, which is a carbon compound, 60 carbon atoms are interconnected to forming a cage structure. Its size is 1 nanometer, which I have mentioned on previous uh, slide. If we compare the diameter of hair to Buckminster fullerene, which is made of 60 carbon atoms and its size is 1 nanometer. We can also find nanoparticles or nanomaterials in the history. In this slide on the right hand side, this figure, it is actually ancient stained glass. Many people in the history, they have been using different metals like gold, silver and other previous to stain different architectures. At that time, people did not know that what they were using, the gold materials or silver materials their solutions, their colloidals, they were actually in nano size. Later on, when characterization techniques have been developed like scanning electron microscopy, transmission electron microscopy, and when these pictures were analyzed, 
on high resolution it was found that the pictures are made of small dots just like yellow dot blue dot these dots are made of very tiny particles of gold silver and other precious metals here is a question nanoparticle or nanomaterial sometimes when we read the literature we can see both of the terms nanoparticle or nanomaterials here are some definitions by standards to define these terms given in the table these are the organizations just like iso international standard organization astm nioh sccp and some others these are the definitions according to these organizations we can see for a nanoparticle according to iso a particle spanning 1 to 100 nanometer diameter an ultra fine in a particle whose length in two or three places in 1 to 100 nanometer uh, this is some other language other than english a particle with diameter between 1 and 100 nanometer at least one side is in the nanoscale range and on the other hand material for which at least one size or internal structure is in the nanoscale or material for which at least one size or internal structure is in the nanoscale material consisting of a nanostructure or a nano substance so all those particles or materials which are 1 to 100 nanometer or their one or more than one dimensions are in the range of 100 nanometer they are called nanoparticles or nanomaterials the nanoparticles are so small that if we take a cross section of a hair 50000 nanoparticles can accommodate on the cross section of the hair i can also ask you a question have you ever seen nanoparticles in your daily life we are talking about nanomaterials whose diameter is 1 to 100 nanometer and this diameter is even smaller than the wavelength of the visible light which is from 400 to 700 and in some books from 350 to 750 nanometer so when we compare the diameter of the nanoparticles which is very small it means that we can not see these materials using our naked eye under visible light however the nanoparticles are always dispersed in the air in large quantity uh, if we see some sunlight which is coming from a window you can see some particles are illuminating or if you stand in front of a multimedia you can see some particles are uh, blowing in the air so these are the nanoparticles nanoparticles can be classified into different classes depending upon their dimensionality morphology and composition so first of all we will talk about dimensionality nanoparticles can be divided into three, three categories one dimensional nanomaterials two dimensional nanomaterials and three dimensional nanomaterials 1d materials are those nanomaterials which are in nano scale with one dimension typically thin films or surface coatings thin films have been developed and used for decades in various fields including electronics information storage systems chemical and biological sensors fiber optic systems and magneto optic and optical devices thin films can be deposited by various methods and can be grown and controlled at atomic level a mono layer where one layer of the atoms can be deposited on the surface of the material 2d nanomaterials or two dimensional nanomaterials have two dimensions in the nanometer scale two dimensions means they are in nano scale size on x or y axis or on x or z axis 3d nanomaterials are three dimensional nanomaterials that are nano scale in all three dimensions these include quantum dots or nano crystals fulvenes particles pesticides and colloids some three dimensional systems such as natural nanomaterials and combustion products metallic oxides carbon black titanium oxide zinc oxide they are also well known and others such as fulvenes dendrimers quantum dots represent the greatest challenge in the term of production and understanding of properties while talking about dimensionality one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional materials 
and other type of nanomaterials is zero dimensional materials which is often not discussed in classification here is a picture which is representing zero dimensional one dimensional two dimensional materials and some complex structures zero dimensional materials are just like dots spheres cubes on the other hand one dimensional materials they are in nanoscale along one dimension they are usually rods or wires they are usually rods or wires we can see in this figure two dimensional materials their size is in nanoscale along two dimensions these are just like disks two dimensional nanomaterials are those nanomaterials which are in nanoscale size along two dimensions just like x axis are along y axis these are also usually just like disks or rods there are also some complex nanostructures which are either three dimensional nanostructures or uh, condensed three dimensional structures these are helix some stars uh, some tetrahedral structures so all of these structures these are three dimensional nanomaterials figure 1.3 represents some examples of metal containing nanoparticles whose shapes are given here first of all zero dimensional nanomaterials they can be spheres spheroids hollow spheres nanocrystallites or hollow nano box shaped materials one dimensional metallic materials can be nano rods nano fibers nano wires or hollow nano tubes hollow nano tubes means these are empty from the inside two dimensional uh, nano materials which are metal containing nano particles they can be nano disks or nano rolls nano materials can be classified on the basis of their morphology the morphological characteristics to be taken into account are the flatness aspect ratio and special position of each element in the case of hybrid nanoparticles a general classification exists between high and low aspect ratio particles high aspect ratio nanoparticles include nanotubes nano wires on the other hand small aspect ratio nanoparticles include spherical shaped oval shaped cubic shaped prismatic helical and pillar shaped nanoparticles transmission electron microscopy can be used to see the exact morphology of the nanoparticles as an example the tem images of some nanomaterials with different morphologies are given on the next page these are different morphologies of the nanoparticles which have been studied by using transmission electron microscopy in this figure 1.4 the a figure it is mono dispersed copper nanoparticles now these particles are now these particles are very small in size figure b represents iron nanorods and similarly in figure c and similarly in figure c it can be seen copper silicon core shell nanoparticles uh, core shell nanoparticles will be described later similarly in figure d porous iron oxide nanoparticles figure e is representing iron oxide e is representing iron oxide cubes decorated with nickel nanoparticles figure f is representing porous silica spheres with alpha iron oxide nanoparticles which are embedded in pores of silicon oxide similarly in figure g l gamma iron oxide nanoparticle spheres are shown the third category of nanoparticles is the composition of the nano materials or nanoparticles nanoparticles can be divided into three types mixed nanoparticles core shell nanoparticles or layered nanoparticles mixed nanoparticles can be either random or ordered 
figure 1.6 uh, which is on the next page it is showing mixed nanoparticles randomly mixed alloys correspond to solutions of solids whereas ordered nanoparticles correspond to ordered arrangement of a and b atoms the a and b atoms are shown in figure 1.6 core shell nanoparticles consist of a shell of one type of atom b surrounding a core of another type of atoms a it is also represented on the next page layered nanoparticles are commonly referred to in the literature as genus as genus nanoparticles they consist of two type of nanoparticles a and b sharing a common interface this is shown in figure 1.6 c these type of nanoparticles tend to minimize the number of bonds between elements a and b this heterojunction structure facilitates phase separation here is the figure 1.6 the a shows mixed structure nanoparticles we can see a and b atoms are mixed in the cluster structure the atoms are randomly arranged among the structure of the nanoparticles the figure b is representing core shell structure in this structure the b atoms are making a core shell and the a atoms are embedded in the core shell structure this is second type of nanoparticles the third one figure c is representing layered structure in this structure we can see the a atoms they are making one kind of layer and b atoms they are making second kind of layer these atoms are continuous in a layer similarly the atoms in b layer they are also continuous this is layered structure the references for this lecture are there is plenty of room at the bottom by richard finman it is book published in 1999 the second one is introduction to nanoparticles by satoshi horikoshi and nick serpon so these two books can be downloaded from the internet the assignments are students have to find more examples showing different type of nanoparticles depending upon their morphology and size students have to search the detailed history of nanoparticles and make a comprehensive report the students should search different metal oxide nanoparticles examples sh and show their physical properties thank you very much